To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time that Mallee Emurans have been bred in captivity, with the first three fledglings coming out in about late last week. This is a really significant milestone. We've actually been able to have not only the birds reproduce, but be able to raise their young to the point where they are almost independent of the adults, which is just wonderful news. That was not the intention, uh, really, just we wanted to learn more about their life history, but this is a real uh, indication that the birds are thriving and that they actually can be reproduced in human care. The birds were brought into captivity to learn as much as we can as far as their husbandry goes and basically what it takes to, to keep them happy and thriving. What we learn from these, from these birds in the future will hopefully inform how we manage the species in captivity and whether or not there is a captive breeding program as part of the long-term conservation strategy. When I first got involved with the program that was in 2015, it's been a relatively long road to this point um, and to have this success and the birds thriving in the aviaries that we designed for them is exceptionally fulfilling. Every species is intrinsically valuable. This just happens to be a particularly charismatic, beautiful species, uh, but in general, any species is valuable. And uh, in this case, this species is important from a biodiversity perspective. They actually have cultural significance, which is another thing to take into consideration. Also, the value of the species has as uh, offering ecosystem services. So it's actually one part of an ecosystem, very important part as far as, you know, managing insect populations and uh, helping pollinate and the, the uh, sort of possibilities are limitless. Even things like fire control, every species is important for managing its uh, habitat and that can actually provide resiliency within the ecosystem itself.